we met over coffee and I, I remember I was really nervous because she sent an email beforehand saying, you know, think about how you might like to be portrayed, if you've got any ideas and all that sort of stuff. And, and the last thing I wanted was to have another picture of me in Lycra with helmets and bikes to portray what I did as opposed to who I am. And so when I met Narelle, I remember the first thing she said is, so what do you think? What are your ideas? And I was so happy that she asked me first because I was scared she was going to say how we're going to put the bike here and we're going to put Lycra there. And, and then as I kind of explained to her how I felt about it and the ideas that I had, I could see I think she really resonated with it and she took it from there. When I got the commission and realised it was a pretty exciting thing, I'd never sort of done this sort of stuff before, I guess. And I had a bit of a Google of you and just to have a look and see what had been done. And you have been photographed so extensively, I started feeling a little bit challenged, you know, thinking that how am I going to make something different out of this? And I've, I sort of knew straight away I didn't want to have the bike in there or you in Lycra. Um, and, but I, again, I was a bit worried, concerned that you, pro you might want to do that, you know. So it was a, just such a relief to know that you were actually willing to try something a little bit different and um, think outside the box a bit and, and, and take it in a different direction. Yeah. So it was great. Yeah. And I guess the idea for it came about, you know, in discussions that, you know, me as a person, me as a woman, I wanted to finally have an image of myself that I could present that was a little bit softer, it was a little bit more feminine. But I come from the country, you know, and I, I love that connection from where I grew up. And so I kind of relied on Narelle around, you know, locations, given her experience of, of photography in South Australia. And, and I said I, I was looking for something that could convey some contrast, I guess, between the softness of how I want to be presented to the harshities that the country and land can portray. And maybe the landscape could speak for some of the traits that I'm known for as an athlete, but also the person. It's a simple image really, but it's quite complicated. Yeah, well, there's a number of things happening in the photograph in the end, and we did think about where to take you, and in the end, I think it needed to be somewhere in the country in the landscape, because that actually, you know, you are a country girl at heart, and so that was a very basic need for the photograph, I think, and then just looking at, I mean, I guess the idea of being feminine in the picture as well resonated with me, I think, as a woman in a male industry as well, I think you dumb down your femininity a lot just to be taken seriously, you know, so that it's a different kind of aspect you're talking about, but I think that, you know, it, it touched into a whole of my ideas about how women should be portrayed. And so, you know, even though I wanted to make you, um, you know, embrace that softness and femininity, I, I didn't want to leave out the rest of your personality, which is so strong and so powerful, and that's what people know you for. So using those symbols of the landscape and the toughness of the rocks and the tree that's bent over and, you know, there's a resilience yeah. in there. You know, you can look at that photograph and just look at it and admire it, but if you want to look further and, you know, there is a story there about you. Yeah, um, so. and it's interesting because I only saw the, the chosen image not that long ago and I got quite emotional in my response to it because I did feel like it was a really beautiful image because when you're standing in front of the camera, you see the lens <laughs> and you're hoping and you're backing that the photographer, in this case, Narelle, was capturing uh, something special um, and she did a really, really wonderful job. Yeah, I mean, we tried a few different things. Yeah, we did. And you had this beautiful dress that, you know, as soon as you put it on, it's, it was the one, really. Um, and it's got, it seems to have a little bit of a mysterious history about it, it conjures up Pitney Hanging Rock and stuff from <laughs> country Australia and you know there's just there was just something nice about that and it's very simple and it glows I think in that light and we, it all came together really in that last kind of two or three minutes of light I think. So we had different placements of you but in the end with you um, in front of the tree it looks like you're part of the landscape you're growing out of it with with the with the trees and the rocks so I really like that about the, that part of the photograph. Yeah and I think that resonates really well too for where I'm at in my present point of time in life is because I'm in a transition period. I'm going from a hugely successful sporting career and stepping into life without sport. And so I think, again, there are so many um, correlations that come from that image. I mean, I feel incredibly lucky that actually you wanted to go on a different um, journey on it. So you know, like it was, <laughs> it was really nice and it's not a traditional portrait, you know, so it's, um, you know, but for me that was important because I think that I love the traditional portrait but I also think for me and the way I shoot it's about um, using the landscape as a bit of chance in there as well. I like the fact that we rolled up and we don't really know what we're going to do mm -hmm. and that we don't really know what the light's going to do and, it, and it all, it all, if it does come together it will come together and it's, yeah. it's about that moment in history and time and place yeah. for you, for me. It's actually a, a specific time and place I guess. Yeah. It, it can't be recreated. Well it all had to come together because 
we were like, months went by and we were looking at weather we were looking at schedules of both yours and mine and we got one day where everything worked and then for the weeks following that photo it rained yeah so it was crazy we were very lucky i can't believe i've looked at the weather forecast so for the months preceding that it was driving me nuts you know trying to kind of second guess it you were and, getting nervous and knowing that you were you know so busy and like the cancellations would become quite stressful in the end um so yeah it was great we had this beautiful you know, balmy day really in the middle of winter or the end of winter and this beautiful location which was a bit difficult to find, you know, like it was, it's a strange sort of place on, on the other side of the hills in Adelaide leading to Murray Bridge and it's quite barren I guess, rolling hills but then all of a sudden this crop of rocks sort of just breaks out of the ground really. And we're lucky enough to find Mick who let us onto his property and yes. just the last half hour, it was really fun because we were actually just chasing the light around, you know, because we were up behind a little bit of an edge of hills and so we were losing the light and we just basically started down below and then walked up the hill and then found this she oak and you know had 10 minutes there and you know that was our picture. I guess I like using the landscape like a stage you know you find something special and then you wait for the light to, you know the nat I love using natural light I love seeing what the sun can do and how it can illuminate things that you may not necessarily see, you know, and actually points you into a direction to look at. And that's in the end, you standing there and having the light shine on you, you know, you are in this beautiful white dress, which kind of has a lovely soft glow in it, you know, it brings a little bit of magic to it, you know, I guess with the magic hour we shot it in. But all the, all the parts of that picture tell a story, you know, like they are, they are about actually telling a bigger picture about you, you know, you have you looking soft and feminine, which is a big part of your personality, which you've never really been able to project before too much. Well, my profession doesn't allow for it you know no. it's a very aggressive intimidating environment where strength and power reign supreme so um, and I guess that's why many people in my life see two different Annas you know there's the athlete Anna and there's the Anna um, at home so it was nice to kind of uh, tap into that a little bit. I think it's interesting how also you know because you are you know you have been so tough and portrayed as that is that's the only way they want to see you <laughs> you know like it is about you know the steely jawed kind of I'm gonna get out of my way Death sort of stare. <laughs> You know, which is kind of, you know, it, it is interesting how we can't, we can't separate that. We kind of either have, have to have girls looking girly or we have to have them looking tough and kind of more, almost masculine, you know. So mm. it was kind of nice to be able to try and bring all that together and celebrate being a woman, you know, that you actually don't have to be one or the other. You yeah. Know, you can be both. It's completely. great strength and femininity. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and softness as well. And I think you captured that really well. But the tree as well, you know, it's it's struggling to grow and has grown for a very long time and you can see the, the wear and the effect of you know, what it's gone through, the struggles, the challenges that it's faced. You know, you see that the dead log in front of it where parts of it have broken off but it's continued to grow and I think that really symbolises the resilience and tough things that I've had to experience in my career as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, coming back from the accident you have and stuff, I mean, it's, it's all there, you know, if you want to look at it and the, the toughness of the rocks growing out of the landscape. That all builds a picture of picture to me of you, you know, and, and you know the little the little tiny tree in the background. You know, I, I love that kind of aspect of you know you standing alone at the top of your career. You know, like you are an Australian household name, and no one really has been able to kind of be up there with you. You know, so you're out there on your own. <laughs> so I think you know there's all lots in the rolling hills. You know, are very feminine as well. You know, they're beautiful shapes and stuff. So there's kind of there's there's a lot in there if you want to find it. You don't have to, mm. but if you want to go looking, there's a story of you, mm. you know. <laughs> Definitely. I felt really privileged to be able to photograph you as well because you're everything that I love in a woman, you know, is going, going after your dreams and being strong and you're a household name in our family, you know, my kids love watching you do the box jumps and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great gig to get and I'm really glad that you came along for the ride, you know, and you were able to do something a little bit different. Yeah, so. me too. <laughs>